<laughs> Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. And immediately after the last episode ended, I pressed end turn. I went to go and get myself a drink. And lo and behold, peace is signed between Britain and Germany at long, long, <laughs> long last. Now, <laughs> we really are not interested in the Mediterranean. Like we we have no real ability to to deal with it. It is tempting to take 1.4 billion off the uh, British. It is tempting to take the Orion, but it's more tempting to take Ireland. <laughs> I don't think the AI will accept me taking Ireland, but we'll try. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> they did it! I can't believe they did that! <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Behold! German Ireland! <laughs> United by our love of beer! Now, um, <laughs> and we've got Northern Ireland as well. <laughs> so, yep, unified German Ireland. Although, of course, they will be granted uh, great freedoms uh, and liberties. But um, that's three pretty sizable ports and a big chunk of GDP from what I remember. Now, GDP before that well, hasn't jumped that much, actually. But, um, but certainly added to it. <laughs> I've never seen that work either, Alaric. It's amazing. Since when? <laughs> Since when does the AI give up Ireland? Now, uh, this, of course, means a lot of peacetime. Like, I'm going to have to change everything to peacetime mode. So let's take all our ships and put them on limited. Uh, we're still building. Uh, yeah, our budget is going to be all over the place. Because we are building a lot of ships. However, I did suspect that would be the case. So I'm going to suspend... Uh, these three vessels. And let's see how that... No. And where's the other one? Formidable. There we go. Suspend you as well. That should save me a fair amount of money. And then we'll get two sh those two ships repaired. And that should save me more money. Um... I'm just going to go on to the next turn. Now you can't get um, at the mo at least at the moment you can't get Scarpa Flow because it's part of Scotland, which is a core region. But when we get the ability to launch naval invasions and things, then. Yeah, we're, we're going to be able to take things like Scuffle Flow. Right, um, as I normally do on YouTube, I'm not going to bother showing you all of the clicking and in-between turns. So I will be back for you, those of you on YouTube um, when I'm doing some designing or a war happens or something interesting happens. So I'll see you soon. Right, I'm back. Um, when I said uh, I'll be back when something interesting happens, I thought I'd get maybe a year. But it's only April 1925. And, yeah, we got the Franz Ferdinand <laughs> event. Uh, yeah, prepare for war if that's what they want, and immediately war. war. Now, what's interesting about that, and I get the mark for 13-inch guns, which is not what I want. France is already at war with Italy and Austria-Hungary. <laughs> so, they're kind of in a bad way and they're almost at war with Britain Jesus Christ what the hell are you doing France well 
let's uh, do our part and try and blockade them. I don't think they have any presence in the North Sea. Sure, we'll 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 try it. <laughs> Plus, we can uh, attack them. I, I've put some destroyers in Ireland. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Uh, Italy wants an alliance, but they want money. No. What? <laughs> Britain's like, yes, war with France. We knew that... <laughs> Never mind that, that enormous war that we just fought. <laughs> Everybody hates the French. Oh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Everybody really hates the French. Jesus Christ. Britain comes in as well. Whoa, that's a huge fleet. Okay. I... D what? That's very expensive. All of, the, all of their capital ships are very expensive. And those are very fast. And have a lot of torpedoes. Oh my god. Okay. Looks like France has been taking its big boy pills. Uh, withdraw. No, of course not. And never ever lets me withdraw. However, we will we will withdraw. That's a larger fleet than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can't use the second part of uh, that phrase for the French uh, on, well, without Automod being annoying. Uh, simply because it has some other connotations. But yes, the, the cheese-eating lot are uh, being stupid. Right. Run away. <laughs> right, make speed 25. I don't want you to keep in pace with the battleships. Don't particularly wish to waste waste them. It is very target rich, and I would love to take them on, but they have too many ships, and they are looking at just the overviews. They are sufficiently good that I think I would take a huge amount of uh, damage. Now they're gonna come at me anyway, um, because they can. But that doesn't mean we have to make it easy for them. France also has cloaking devices, apparently. And again, with desperately needing radar. Yep, run away. Well, we spotted an enemy ship. That is some form of cruiser. That doesn't look too bad. It's a bit front heavy, I would say. What was it? Probably a light six inch guns. Also spotted a destroyer with a very weird setup. Oh my god, look at that thing. <laughs> so yeah, what I expect the French to try and do is zoom in with their light ships. Which is why I'm just steadily heading away. Can uh, try and get them with just chip away at them. As best we can.
Oh, lovely. Blew up the engine rooms. And gone. And we can do the same to the destroyer. Lovely. So far, going according to plan. Wow, we've got a times 30, really? I'm surprised. I thought they would uh, come at me with a little bit more than that. We can end the battle. There we go. Successfully escaped. And wow! <laughs> 3,000 victory points. They are expensive, those things. Well, the destroyer, not so much, but 37 million for a light cruiser. Yeah. No, we need... We need a bigger fleet. Need more ships. I hadn't realised the French had quite that much stuff. Uh, they lose some ships in the med. What do they have? Eight battleships. Okay. Uh, just move everyone back to Eminent. Um, six battle cruisers, 15 heavy cruisers, 16 lights, 12 destroyers. Okay, but Jesus Christ, Italy, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, they're seriously outnumbered down in the uh, med. Good gravy. <laughs> How are you still solvent, Italy? My word. All right, we have tons of money again. Uh, which means I can unsuspend all ships under construction. And I can take all ships... And put them back onto sea control. Nothing was mothballed. Don't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll blob up all my ships into a doom stack and send them into the, just the channel. See what the French do. Because uh, if I was... I mean, the French are probably going to be sending a lot of their ships uh, to the Med. Um, no, I'm not paying for an alliance. Don't be cheeky. Let's get every available ship. that can make the journey, yeah, that's all of them, into a big old blob, and then we're going to go smash them up. That's the plan. A year later, after we took Ireland from them, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you want? Do you want a, an alliance? No, because you, I'm not paying for it. Crew salvage program four, very cool. Okay, fleet channel, go. <laughs> They don't have the yeah. They have barely anything in the channel. I think we just got unlucky. I think they were moving their fleet over. Oh my! Goodness. Look at this mess. <laughs> oh, 
God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, and then the French have a revolution. Of course, <laughs> it wouldn't be France without having a revolution. Um, uh, GDP growth, please. Right, they have absolutely nothing in the channel. So I'm going to move all the battleships and all the Valkyrie class cruisers. I'm going to leave the two Deutschlands in the channel. I'm going to try and get them blockaded. How's it looking in the med? Yeah, they really don't have a lot of power projection, do they? get France blockaded that will be a serious plus of course what will be bad is if they peace out uh, with one of the other nations although they haven't at the moment oh my god look at their GDP that has taken a big old hit. Do 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 building new ships. Building new ships for a long time. I have noticed uh, there is, there is a ship that one of the nations somewhere. It, it, well, okay, it was Italy. <laughs> that was just Italy laying down. What one, two, three, four, five, six, se at least seven ships. Oh my God, France! <laughs> oh, 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 this is us sinking ten transports uh, in both the North Atlantic and the Channel. Yeah, that was that was Italy and Britain doing a whole load of building. Um, oh, oh, yeah, that's got to hurt. That has got to hurt. Yeah, La Rochelle empty. Brest has a light cruiser in it. La Havre has a battleship. Uh, I'm going to move one of my own battleships over to the channel then. I don't want to be so look at this. Da, 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 da. Uh, I don't want my uh, two heavy cruisers to get bum rushed by a battleship. That would be unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a battle. Good. Yes, I'm shocked that uh, they've replaced the leader of the Admiralty as they lose another nine transports in the mid. Oh, that's not what I expected. That's the Irish squadrons, or two of them, finding the Ambuscard class, the Guidon. Okay, welcome back, Cumbrian. <laughs> yes, um, we're at war with France. Italy's at war with France. Austria-Hungary's at war with France. And Britain is at war with France. Everybody is at war with France. <laughs> yeah, and 14 transports. Which is probably what we're more interested in. Uh, 
Mm-mm-mm. Yes, uh, France has already had a revolution. Uh, we haven't seen any hotels yet. Uh, their cruise, we saw their light cruiser and their destroyer, both of which are fairly modern. Uh, France has been at war. Oh, that's a nice. That's a surprisingly nice design. AI's really been good this campaign. There's a decent layout. Um, this turret's maybe a little bit far forward. Uh, because of these secondaries, but look at all those quad quad guns. What are those guns on? They look pretty sizable. Yeah, eight. 8.1 inch guns. And of course, we sunk a lot of the French ships ourselves. You're seeing something out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, but I think it's just uh, the lamp. Not sure that's the French cruiser's best plan. Oh! <laughs> oh who did that? Vulture! What a shot! <laughs> blew off her deck launcher. Uh, starboard deck launcher, but it also blew up the uh, ammunition for the port launcher. She does have um, space. Let's have a look at her. She's very fast for a heavy cruiser. Not that expensive, so I think there's something wrong with it. Cordite 1 and Picric Acid 3 is an interesting choice. Ah. <laughs> yes. There is indeed something wrong with it. Yes, you're using Krupp 3, but they've only got five inches of, well, not even that, on the main belt. That is a weakly armoured ship carrying some very explosive uh, weaponry. What kind of torpedoes are they? Standard 20 inch. Okay. Aha! Transports spotted. Time to murder them. <laughs> I did, Hardmore. I uh, watch Drakenfall's video on um, white uh, poodle, poodle, poodle bee, uh, aka white powder and cordite. I found it absolutely fascinating. Really, really interesting. Um, and yeah. The, the what what fascinates me is yeah they they appear to be perfectly good explosive much and much better explosives than you know the black powder brown powder and stuff like that that was used uh, prior to the age of steel um, and uh, yeah didn't didn't catch. <laughs> the whole nitroglycerin problem. Very interesting. Right. 
that's all of the transports sunk, I think. Uh, probably. I think the game's just being slow to update. Let's continue to throw some shells at that heavy cruiser. Yes, it is indeed Waffel Thin armor. Right, let's smoke up. And Vulture, you can go on to save Torps. Let's see if you can get a shot. She only has a Hydrophone 1. And her uh, steering is damaged. And you just hit an engine. Which is pretty decent. Hmm. One hit. Lovely. Did a fair amount of damage. Right, Al, you can fire as well. Destroyed a main gun? <laughs> like, these destroyers only have, like, regular old 5-inch guns, and then just... Absolutely brutalizing the. There we go. And yes, I know there's a torpedo, but. Boom! <laughs> uh... Right, try and. Uh... No, Owl is. Uh, no, gonna get hit by that torp. It's too busy. Oh, she'll, she'll survive. Well, I don't think much of the heavy cruisers. Put it that way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and although she was already dead, ammo debt taught hit to finish her off. Plus a whole pile of transports. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. And that wasn't even the, like, main forces. That was destroyers coming out of Cork and Dublin. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And no, indeed. What's that done to their economy? Yep. <laughs> Give, giving it a little bit of a punch. Why don't you mark five nine inch guns? Are you kidding me? What mark four elevens? Still, that does mean that I can refit the Valkyries once this uh, war with the French is over. Yes, I have Ireland. <laughs> you missed that as well. <laughs> yes, we have Ireland. <laughs> The British gave us Ireland and 200 million. Um, France loses a bunch more. Transports. Uh, I'm going to put the destroyers back where they belong. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And as we go into 1926, let's see if the French have anything to say about it. No, but we do get Hydrophone 3. Again, nice for a refit. Um, but I think I'm going to end the episode here. I will do one more in the stream, but uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. I think it's a good place to end. I think this. Because uh, I'm going to have to stitch this together anyway. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, slightly uh, surprising episode <laughs> of Ultimate Aboriginals. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.